Hello, my friends. I want to share with you today three reasons why you are not failing. The first one is that rewiring your brain and recovery from chronic illness using neuroplasticity is really hard. It's really hard. It's supposed to be really hard. If someone told you it was easy and fast, they lied to you. It's hard and it takes time. It works. It works miracles. It works magic. It is the most powerful thing I've ever encountered in my life, but it is hard. When we accept that and we can start working with the difficulty of like working with the process without thinking we're doing something wrong because it's hard or trying to escape and find an easy way out, it's actually a lot easier. So just so you know, the second thing, slow change is faster when it comes to the brain. Think about any time you've seen an animal or a small child who was scared or hurt. And if we approach them too quickly or try to fix a situation too quickly, usually we startle that that little creature and they become more resistant the limbic system is exactly the same when we are already in a very heightened state rapid change can be seen as something that is not safe that it's dangerous so go a millimeter if you can't go an inch you know if you're trying to elevate your mood and you can't get to joy try for neutrality or totally calm or just being present, something very simple, very, very soft, very subtle. If you can't do a full hour of visualization a day, start with 10 minutes. Just be consistent, but a millimeter every day is gonna get you a lot farther than reaching for an inch, failing, and feeling like it's never gonna work. There's a great image I've seen of a drawing of two people with these big tall ladders into the clouds and one person, their ladder has very small steps and the other person's ladder has very big steps and one person's already at the bottom of the clouds, the other one's still on the ground because the steps were so big, their body couldn't get up them. The moral of the story is take it slow, especially with the brain because again, it is, your, your brain can adapt to slow change. It, it's simply unable to make massive leaps that are sustainable. The last thing is that it is safe to be in stress chemistry. It's okay to be in stress chemistry when you're in this. If you're in fight or flight, you're in freeze, you're in a loop, that's okay. That's part of the process. You started from a point of being there all the time and you're slowly making your way to a point where you're not there at all. We're coming from one of the worst states a human person and human brain can be in to, to the best, to one of complete health. That's a slow process and there's gonna be lots of times where you're in stress chemistry. That doesn't mean you're failing. You don't need to fix it. Sometimes, a lot of times you can't just snap your fingers and get all the way into dose doesn't work that way. You want to think of it as cultivating positive neural chemistry, cultivating positive neural pathways. And one last note on that last one, if you're still with me, this is huge. That's part of why letting go of the fear of symptoms and not paying attention to symptoms is so important and learning how to change our association to our experience of our symptoms so that we can be okay with the slowness of the process and be able to maintain emotional detachment from our symptoms as we go through. And I know that that's not easy to do. I've done it, it's very hard. But again, that is a huge milestone. It's something we master slowly. As you, When you hit the point where you master that, it is so much easier to do the rest of this journey because you don't feel nearly as uncomfortable as you're doing the work of actually rewiring your brain to where the stress switches off and the symptoms do go away. The most important part of recovery is the point at which you are no longer afraid of or emotionally reactive, positively or negatively to your symptoms, where your emotions aren't determined by whether your symptoms are there or which ones are how many or how intense. Once you've hit that point where you're not having an emotional response to them at all, recovery is right around the corner. Love you guys.